Very, very peaceful morning. Leaving Pamplona, it takes like, I'm gonna take like an hour to get out of the city, so. But it's, a march. Get the sense that that book, it wasn't first written in English, it was translated over. The but one it, I have? Yeah. Leaving Pamplona. Still no breakfast. I'm not planning to get it in uh, Cesar Menor, just about five kilometers in. Well, pretty much out of Pamplona now. We've got a, a hill today to do. Pamplona is a good place to uh, just kind of reset, figure out where you're at, fix your gear. Um, I brought a sleeping bag liner, a silk one, and it's just not cutting it, you know? I want to, uh, yeah, I don't know what we got there. Where's she going? Oh, she's trying to run. All right, then, that was weird. Someone was sneaking up on me for a second. So I bought a blanket. You know, just having the feeling of the blanket on you, it's, uh, Makes a difference, man. I slept better last night, so makes, I'll take it. I'll take the extra pound or whatever it is. 15 euro. And I bought a SIM card. That costs 15 euro for a month with a bunch of pretty much unlimited calling and a bunch of data, so that works. But yeah, now you can see people starting to stretch out, starting to get blisters, you know? The Camino has started, right? Camino de Santiago, Cesar Menor. I'm gonna try and find a restaurant here, have some breakfast. Whew, 25 kilometers, no breakfast. Oh my God. Fantastic. Oh. Well, I'm just saying for the record, that was the best omelet ever <laughs> the best breakfast in spain by far we had an awesome look what stretches out in front of us yeah. we're going over this somehow some way down there maybe mm -hmm. little things you know you never see this over in Canada, they tear the soil up completely. Like, completely tear it up. They don't, yeah. They don't do this in Canada. They don't tear the, the ground up like that. No. What are you doing? Are you? No, I mean, like, what is it? What do the Canadians They have a half a million dollar contraption that just that yeah, there we go. That's how it's done. We like when the yeah, we just cross it like this, and then you can put some more per per yeah, And then when you crush that one, you can put the the new seeds. Let the climbing commence. That forest over there looks like it's dying. It's, it looks like a pine beetle forest. Oh yeah, way over there. You're right. Wonder why it's dying. So, a new thing on the Camino. Yesterday someone arrived at the upper gate. had a big old sign. I am on silent Camino. They even wore it to the shower, bathroom, everything. You know, please don't talk to me. That is a long vow of silence, man. At least 30 days, probably more like 35. And he's not gonna talk for that time too. 
walk nearly 800 kilometers and also not say a word. That is some dedication right there. Young guy too, looked like he was in his 20s. Look at this it kind of looks like a scene. It looks like a scene from hell. <laughs> you know, from some kind of horror movie. These things look like they want to eat you. Look at huh. that old uh, building there behind Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. These just creep me out, man. These are just spooky. Children of the corn? It should have been like children of the sunflower. Sunflower, that doesn't quite have the same ring, but these things are they're all leaning towards us and <laughs> they're just creepy, man. They really are. Three million pictures. I can't get over this. This is so creepy. <laughs> I know how big it is. It's huge. You can't see the end of it. And they face the other direction because they're on the other side of us. Almost adds like another element of creepiness. That's so, man, these things are. <laughs> Who would have thought? Some kind of little ruin just off. Came out to check it out. It's not actually, it's a little cemetery. It's tiny. For some reason, it's all locked up. Cool. The hill's not bad, you know, it spreads itself out. I think we're going up there. We're probably done, pretty much. Yeah, we're just about at this little town here, which is kind of the halfway point of the climbs, so. That's all right. Are those her, those her Zeds or Ns? It must be Zeds. In the middle of the, huh. We got, got pretty jaded to these for a while, but now it looks all nice again. So there's nothing in an hour. Oh, look at the shell. Right there on the wall there, kind of yeah. sideways. I saw that neat. This guy running for mayor or selling ice cream? Like seriously. Oh. Oh, it's, is he a cop? Yeah, it's a cop. Okay. Check in to see if we got our masks. Yeah. He's <laughs> got a very important job. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even a cop car, so what is that? <laughs> I don't know. These tiles work with these rocks, yeah. You still hear the still hear the siren of the guy who sharpens knives of all things. Never would have guessed that sharpens knives. Check out these benches. Maybe that's the spring. I promise it wasn't me that did it, but it is pretty cute. There we go. That's the spring from the book. It's usually running dry, but it's actually just putting out a tiny, tiny little bit. Little picnic table hiding down there too. When you get below these 
veritable skyscrapers of wind power. It's pretty impressive, actually. Okay, this is from that movie that day. Didn't realize I was up here. Jeez. Oh, wow. Live in a very peaceful, fortunate land. Franco was for Pesel regime after the coup d'etat. So just kill it for believing in the wrong thing, basically. Very fortunate to live in Canada. Oh, oh man. Now well, it's down, down to down, down. The only way you know you're fortunate is you go somewhere else. See the memorials to people who were killed for no reason. Yeah, that's how it is in Canada. Love Canada. Love living there. And then just kind of rocks all the way down, but it's not too, too bad. At least not so far. Got a ways to go. And it even says Maria. Hmm. Utarga. That's kind of cool. Out. He's letting us, letting us see him. He alive? <laughs> he was moving. Oh, he was. Before I, when I walked up. There he goes. What a brave little guy. Kind of funny over there, you can just kind of see this, the arms of a winter, a wind turbine just sweeping through. Um, you're pretty exposed on the Camino. Yeah, we're getting hit by wind, but it's in the sun. It's been basically in the sun most of the day. Sun tan lotion, man. Sun tan lotion, glasses, baseball cap, or some other cap on the rim. Another thing too that I've been getting into is the community of the Camino. In Punta La Arena, where we're staying tonight, I am just staying in the municipal albergue again in a convent. I think I might stay in the municipal alberges for a while because I like seeing people that I know that I've gotten to know. The private ones, first of all, they might not be open, but yeah, it's uh I mean, the community, right? I gotta take video of the signs, otherwise I have no freaking clue of what town I'm taking video of. There's gonna be so many of them by the time I'm done the Camino. Still in Mirazabal, I've decided to take a little three tour. My dad and Evelyn have decided not to. Nice thing. There it is, there's the uh, a little detour sign. First I'm gonna go see the town church and uh, check it out. But other than that, every town has a church like this. It just, you get jaded to them. Every single town has got an ancient, ancient church with a 
massive bell. It's insane. Well, I've been carrying my book just in case, but I don't even think I need it, so I'm going to put it away. Well, is uh, both sides of the coin are nice. You know, I like hiking with my dad and Evelyn. You know, hiking with people, but it's also nice to get off on my own sometimes. Just enjoy things. Peppers. That's something I haven't seen yet. There's different crops, you know, sunflowers. Well, that's cool. Anytime there's been any question about where to go, like at that intersection, there's a sign. It's well marked. Just a random house along this trail. Appeared to be uninhabited. Come around, and it certainly is. You can even look inside, get a better view of the camera than I will. There's a fireplace. Just a little thing. Old shed. Even has some recently cut up wood in it. No, an old tire. And a tree house that's actually quite elaborate. And you have caulking in the damn thing. Great. I mean, look at this. Caulking. Well, every way you got up there has been removed, or maybe there's a ladder stored someplace. Kind of cool. This tree house is pretty whack, I gotta say. church was built in 1170, like for the love of God. They charged me one euro and they gave me an English pamphlet. Yeah, well, that sounds silly, but you know what? English is good. Otherwise, you just don't know anything about it, right? It's all written in Spanish, so quite appreciative. There, there's a clear sign, clear, clear trail. I thought taking a detour I'd be on my own a little bit, but nope. All right, go back to uh, Or Bonos, I think it is, which will bring me back onto the Camino and then onto Puente La Arena. All right, just careful here, don't go up that way, you're gonna end up going to like a viewpoint. So, follow the good old fashioned signs, off we go. I've seen uh, irrigation actually happening out here and I am definitely getting a little bit of a mist shower. But that's okay because it's been hot all day so. I'm passing another cemetery but it's locked again. Why don't you guys lock up your awesome cemeteries? Like look. Managed to try to do the. This is pretty tight in these bars. I don't want to drop my phone. But yeah, it'd be fun to go in there and check stuff out. But hmm, I guess uh, vandals and stuff's probably a problem. So lock it up. Every town has their old church, but a bonus has got a pretty cool one. Look at those arches. Oh, almost there. Almost there. Got 
Gonna go meet my parents for supper after checking into the hostel. Only seven euro. Talk with uh, an Italian girl from, a oh, lady really, to uh, from Bonos all the way here. That was kind of interesting, but I have been trying and trying to communicate. You know, like she doesn't even speak Italian. That's in Google Translate. She speaks like a Southern dialect. It's just about impossible. It just isn't happening. All right, she's cute too. Oh well. Um, but yeah, went to the arena. It was uh, pretty cool so far. Let me go check it out. Gotta love streets that are basically just for people. This thing is like full. Very cool little plaza. Here's the restaurant. Well, it's a very cool church, but I'm here too late to go and see it. So, oh well. I got here. I went and had breakfast, supper with the parents. Important stuff. View from the hostel window. That's not half bad. Two massive steeples in the same town.